Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel, it's nice to be back. Hope you all had a good Christmas and I hope you all have a nice year. If it's your first time in my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to receive my new videos. I'll try to be more active in here again. Today I am super excited to show you this video. It's a video collaborating with... Craftimo! This brand is known for the brushes and I wanted to try them so much. I got the bamboo set. I am in love with this box, look how beautiful it is. This box comes with 10 premium Eco Bamboo Artist brushes that are great to use with watercolor, acrylic and oil. On their box you can also read that these bamboo brushes are sustainable, bamboo recycled brass and cruelty free fibers, which makes me an eco artist. It's good when we are not hurting the environment, right? It's good that these new materials think about what's surrounding us so much over time. The best thing about this box is the level of detail you can achieve with these precision brushes. And let me tell you, I love tiny details. Let me show you closer this brush. You can see it's made from bamboo. How precise is the brush, but also the recycled brass that is a golden rose. It's beautiful. There are 10 brushes and all of them have their precision. Look how thin the smallest one is. Oh, I can't wait to start and show you. You have this tiny paper explaining everything that I'm telling you on the video, but you can also find all this information in their website if you want to try and also if you want just to see a bit more details from it. The illustration I chose to paint was this drawing I did of Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn. I used a watercolor paper, I ended up choosing to color with watercolors, I ended up doing the line art with mechanical pencil and then I erased a bit the lines. And the watercolors I will be using will be from Windsor and Newton, the Sketchers pocket box version that you can see on the screen. Lately I finished the game and I absolutely loved her hair of how detailed it is. And just thought maybe this is the best illustration to start with these brushes. I really need to share with you that I'm not great with watercolors, I really think it's a difficult medium to use, but I love doing it anyway. I guess practicing helps, so I hope to get better this year on it. Should I say this is one of my goals of 2022? Do you have anything art related as a goal this year? I started by finding the right color of the skin and then soaked the paper to make the blending of it. I tried to do everything very light in the beginning because I didn't have the specific idea of how I wanted to color, so slow and taking my time will help me lead. As soon as I used the brush a bit more, I noticed right away how easy it was to get to the tiniest details and how the grip was so comfortable because it's bamboo. It's also the first time I use a brush that could sustain the form of a brush like it's supposed to. So I was pretty happy already with this little experience, these first minutes of using these brushes.
Aloy's hair is so detailed that I'm really happy to be building her string of hair slowly and looking realistic. After the paper dried a bit more, I was building up the coloring and also the hair and trying to do details and I really loved the result. I really had my hopes high for this brand because I have seen friends and artists using them and I was really thinking this is a good brand. But these brushes revealed to be so much better, professional and so high quality. I can't even believe it. I think my results are already enough to show how precise they are, how well they do the job. Even having a bigger brush, you can use the tip to do such precise strokes. And believe me that I have over 30 or 50 brushes, I'm not entirely sure. You should totally try to use them, especially being cruelty free. No animals are harmed during the production of these brushes. Craftimo is also a PETA certified as vegan and cruelty free. There is no shedding hair on these brushes and it didn't come out any bristles. That happens a lot when you see the brush is not good, but what win over me was exceptional shape retention. You can check all the details of these brushes and the website of Craftimo on the description box below. Also, usually they have good deals on their page, so keep watching, keep following their work. They have Instagram, they also have Facebook, so you have everything here, you just need to go and follow them. And no, they didn't ask me to say this on my video. When I do videos telling my experience with materials, with art materials, I always say the truth. I never say what they want me to say, because some of them even tell you, you have to say this or that. But the truth is, I want to be true to myself, true to you that are my viewers. And I always tell you, if I like it, I will tell you. If I don't like it, I will also tell you, because that's how it goes. That's how I work. After having everything colored, I thought the painting was still light for me. So I ended up doing more contrast with the colors and tried to do more details. I was really in love with these brushes. Which version you like the best? 
the light one or the one with more contrast? I hope it's the one with more contrast because it's the finished drawing. <laughs> I used two brushes on my painting and I think it was enough for the amount of detail I wanted to get on it. Like I said before, even using a big brush, you can do a very precise detailing and you can see that on my drawing because I ended up coloring big parts of the drawing and then doing little strings with the same brush. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. After finishing the majestic Alois hair, I decided to make a contrasted background, not too strong, of the background of the game. Do you recognize any machine? To help my patients with the drying process, I got my hair dryer to help, and then doing more details over time, and that's it. What do you think of this illustration? To finish this video, I really want to say again my opinion. I really enjoyed doing this drawing with these magnificent brushes. Craftimo was a big surprise of how well the brushes are done, but also how they work. Like I said before, I had high hopes, but they proved to be so much better and I hope many people can try and see for themselves what I experienced. I want to thank Craftimo for this collaboration. It was such a nice surprise and I will post more videos using these sustainable and cruelty-free brushes more times. You can find, again, all the links of Craftimo on the description box below. Also, if you buy them, please let me know and show me your results because I would love to see them. Also, thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as me. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye-bye!